Members, we are on the Senate third reading file. We are going to take up file item number 41. That is SB 233. Clerk will read. Senate Bill 233 by Senator Weiner and others, an actual link to crime. Members, please give your attention to Ms. Cam Lager Dove. You may open. Members, I rise today as a co author to present SB 233 by Senator Weiner. This bill improves the health and safety of sex workers by prohibiting the arrest of an individual for misdemeanor prostitution related crimes when they come forward to report themselves the victim or witness of specified violent crimes. SB 233 also ensures that the possession of condoms may not be used as evidence to arrest or prosecute someone for prostitution-related crimes. The criminalization of prostitution has had devastating effects on sex workers, whether they are selling by choice, circumstance, or by force. As a direct result of this criminalization, all sex workers are victims of violent crimes at a disproportionately high rate. Over 60% of all sex workers have been violently or sexually assaulted while working. In order to apprehend these dangerous criminals and rapists that are preying on this vulnerable population, we must prioritize the safety of sex workers over criminalizing them so that they can feel safe enough to report these violent crimes without fear that they will in turn be arrested for prosecution for prosecution and prostitution, all these Ps. Condoms, which are essential for public health and help stop the spread of infection, are still used as a tool to criminalize sex workers by using them as evidence when prosecuting someone for sex work. We know of reports where traffickers, in an effort to not lose money, will deny their victims access to condoms to minimize the likelihood that they will be caught with condoms and arrested for sex work. Not surprisingly, data from multiple countries link this criminalization of condoms with a five-fold increase in the risk of HIV or other sexually transmitted infections. Arresting sex workers when they're reporting themselves as a victim of rape or using condoms as, as evidence to charge someone with sex work is bad public policy and does not improve public safety. It is detrimental to our public health outcomes. SB 233 is an important step to improve the health and safety of our entire state by protecting some of our most vulnerable and exploited constituents. This bill passed out of Assembly Public Safety unanimously with bipartisan support. I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Thank you, Ms. Cam Lagerdove. Seeing no discussion or debate, Mr. Marsucci, you are recognized. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. You know, I, I support the goals of, of this bill. It's uh, trying to provide an incentive to report more serious crimes. It's trying to protect vulnerable workers, especially in the sex in industry. And it's trying to promote condom use to achieve our public health goals. And that's why I think many of us, including myself, supported the bill that uh, our colleague from Glendale authored last year, Assembly Bill 2243, which prohibited the use of this type of evidence to prosecute these uh, uh, prostitution-related cases when they are reporting more serious or violent felonies. My concern here is that this is creating a bad precedent and that this is bad public policy when we start banning categories of evidence and, and categories of arrests. This bill seeks to ban the arrest, you know, to prohibit law enforcement officers, officers from arresting anyone when they're reporting more serious crimes. What, I have a question in my mind as to, you know, what kind of protections are there to prevent someone from just reporting you know, or claiming to be a witness for a more serious crime in order to avoid the arrest for the crime that they were personally engaged in. And second, 
to ban an entire category of evidence. As a former prosecutor, I know that there are procedures for evidence to be excluded primarily on the basis of constitutional concerns, whether it's a violation of the Fourth Amendment right against search and seizure, uh, unreasonable search and, searches and seizures. But I'm not aware of any precedent of, in, of banning an entire category of evidence. And so I support the goal of this bill. I'm concerned about the precedent that it's creating for our law enforcement and for our prosecution, prosecutors. And for that reason, I cannot support this bill. Dr. Quirk. Proud co-author of SB 233, I rise in support. Uh, we do all sorts of things on rules of evidence, um, and a lot of that is done for reasons of protecting to get people against self-incrimination. Uh, this, by looking at condoms, co we are just saying it's healthier if they carry them than if they don't. And that should, and right now, I spoke with a group, you might have seen them at the uh, Democratic National Convention. Uh, it was a group of people saying, sex workers saying sex work is real work. And it is a real problem that those folks, as they tell me, are scared to carry condoms. So we should definitely go ahead with the bill. I would also say that it is already a crime to report something that's as a crime that isn't, and I therefore do not think we will get people reporting crimes that are non-existent. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Quirk. Seeing no additional discussion or debate on the item, Ms. Kamlager dove you may close. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I um, want to thank my colleagues from both the North and the South for their comments on this bill. Um, as we have gone through over a decade of having conversations, public policy conversations about safe sex, we certainly don't want to now suggest that you should not be carrying protection with you when you are engaged in sexual activity. Um, having condoms on your person should not be perceived as a crime. And generally speaking, um, prosecutors have additional evidence when they're uh, going through their charging other than just a couple of condoms in someone's pocket. I do want to say that this bill is being supported by the DAs from Los Angeles County, Alameda, and San Francisco. At the end of the day, this is good policy. This is about trading a misdemeanor for a felony. And we want to be able to encourage witnesses to come forward in an effort to seek justice against violent criminals. That is what this bill will do. I respectfully ask for your I vote. And with that, clerk will open the roll. All members vote. Who desire to vote? All members vote or desire to vote. All members voted desire to vote. All members vote who wish to vote. Takes 54. Clerk will close the roll tie. The vote ayes 54, no's 13. That measure passes.